Hey, Claire. I hope you've made up your mind by now. Hello, Mom. Made up my mind? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm talking about living together. I'm still in good health now, but it's been three years since my husband passed away. And I think it's a good idea to start living together as soon as possible. Living together? To be honest, I don't think it's possible for now. What? Why not? Kevin told me that you recently quit your part time job. If you want to live with us, I think you will have to find a new job. Why do I have to work if I'm going to live with my son and his wife? My god, look who's talking! How dare you talk to me like that when you are being fed by my son? You can talk to me like that, okay? Um, I'm working too. Oh, really? I know you are only working part time. No, I work full time. Whatever. Do you know that I quit my job because I was supposed to move in with you guys? What? You quit your job because of us? That's right. It takes an hour to get to my old part time job from your house, so I had no choice but to quit. I'm sure there was a better way instead of quitting your job. I didn't agree about leaving together too. You didn't have to quit your job. Well, you can agree now to live together. I know it's hard to live together in your small apartment for now, so you should buy a house or condo soon, or move to a bigger apartment as soon as possible. Mom, please don't decide on your own. I need my own room, so we need at least two bedrooms, okay? I have not agreed to live with you. Oh, come on, Claire. I will talk to my son and ask him to arrange for the new house. So, you should start organizing your stuff, okay? That's too selfish, Mom. Mom, did you send a resignation letter to my workplace without my permission? Yes, I did. Oh my gosh, you really did it. Why would you do that? It caused a lot of trouble for me, you know? What do you mean? You were able to be a housewife because of me. You should be thanking me. Now, you will have to leave with me. No, that resignation letter is invalid. Huh? Of course it is. I'm not the one who submitted the letter. I didn't know that until the manager told me about it. It's invalid now, but it caused a lot of trouble in the office. So please give me a break. Did you say I should be thanking you? Do you know what will happen if I quit my job? Oh dear, please calm down. You'll just have to find another job after we move to a new house. It may be difficult to find a full-time job, but there are plenty of part-time jobs out there. In the first place, you are working part-time for your pocket money, right? It will be a problem if you quit. Mom, please listen to me. I have to work full time to make a living. I can just find another job right after moving to a new place. Do you think we have a lot of savings or something? Huh? I've talked to Kevin about it many times, but he doesn't think of ways to earn more money. I want him to think more about our future and have a better job. If you want to live with us, that will be the first step. Ah, oh Lord, Claire. I didn't know you were such a terrible spender. You're earning extra money from your part-time job, but you can even save up money? What kind of wife are you? Excuse me? Kevin's income should be enough to live on, but you're telling me it's not enough? Do you know how much money he earns? Of course I do. He's my son. Do you really think that with that amount of money, both of you and I can quit our jobs and live a normal life? Of course I do. If you stop your spending spree, it'll be fine. I'm not splurging, I'm saving money. I don't think you need to save money with his earnings. You are the one spending a lot of money and you want to blame it on Kevin? What a terrible wife you are. Mom, I think there's a misunderstanding. Do you really know how much money Kevin earns? I told you I know it. I heard it from him. 
Do you really think we can live in America with that amount of money? Not in a country where the cost of living is low? Are you really sure about your financial sense? Excuse me? How dare you say that? That will be you. I have common financial sense unlike you. Oh my goodness. I can't believe you. I will talk to my son about it. Oh, by the way, Kevin has been at your house, right? He hasn't been back for days now. Yes, I know. I'm the one who asked him to stay here. Oh, okay. But why he doesn't reply to me? Because I don't want you to interfere with our discussion about living together. Mom, you can't do that. If I keep listening to your stupid opinion, we won't be able to do this as soon as possible. I will contact you once everything is finalized. After that, just shut your mouth and follow our decision. Mom, please listen to me. Once we start living together, I will put a lot of effort into educating you to be a good wife. So, be prepared. Hey sis, how have you been? There's something that I need to check. Hello Phil, what's up? I just came back home after two weeks, and I think someone stole something in my house. Huh? What are you talking about? What do you mean that some things were stolen? Um, I don't understand what's happening to you. I temporarily came back home this weekend to clean my house, and I noticed my house looks like someone is living here. What? You should call the police. Yeah, I was about to do that. But when I asked my neighbors, they said that someone had moved in a week ago, and your husband and his mom introduced themselves as the new house owners. What? I know it sounds crazy. I thought I should check with you before I called the police. I think you have my spare house key. So do you know anything about this? Oh my god, hold on a sec. Sorry, I think they really did it. What happened? What do you mean they did it? The key I left in the safe is missing. Only Kevin and I know the code for the safe. So Kevin must have taken it out. He must have stolen the key and moved in with his mother. How insane they are! So you are not the one who allowed them to live in my house, right? Of course not! Then I'm a little relieved, but I'm still totally confused. How in the world did this happen? Actually, mom has been pushing us to move in together. I told her that if she wants to move in, she would need to continue working. She told me that she had already quit her part-time job because she thought she didn't have to work if we were going to live together. What? You told me before that you are working full-time now and your husband is mostly dependent on your salary. And now your mom, who doesn't have a job, is moving in with you. That's a tough situation. I tried to explain to her, but I think there's a huge misunderstanding between us. On top of that, Kevin keeps going to his mom's house and ignoring my texts, so I wasn't able to talk to him for a long time. She also wants us to move out of our current apartment to live with her. We cannot afford it. And when I refused, I think she just moved into your house. What you're saying is, to convince you, she came up with the crazy idea of moving into my house. So you will have no choice but to agree in living with your husband's mom. They knew that I work mostly in the countryside and don't go back home so often. That's probably what happened. Sorry, Phil. I had no idea that they would do this. I didn't think that they'd be that insane. It's not your fault, sis. So what am I supposed to do? Where are you staying now? At my friend's place. So don't worry about me. Okay, I will call mom now. I don't know if she'll listen to me, but depending on what they say, it could get worse. Mom, I heard that you got a new place. Can you tell me where did you move? Oh, hello, Claire. I was just about to call you. Since you're so insane and stubborn, I moved out before you did. I see. 
and Kevin help you to move into a new place. Yes, it's your fault that we had to do this this way. What makes it it's my fault? Maybe you are just being selfish, mom. Oh my gosh, what's with that attitude? If you continue to be selfish, Kevin will have to consider divorce. I don't remember doing anything wrong that will lead to a divorce. Can you please stop saying all these selfish things to me? You are the selfish one. That's enough. How could you talk to me like that when you are being fed by my son? Huh? Do you really think he earns that much? Are you serious? Are you saying I'm lying? He doesn't need a wife who doesn't take care of her husband who makes $5,000 a month. $5,000? Yes. He earns that much and you go on a spending spree with that money. We don't need a terrible wife like you. He should be divorcing you. If you don't want my son to leave you, do whatever I said. Get down on your knees and agree to live with me. Then, I will tell you where we moved. What? Are you serious? Yes, do it now. No, I won't do it. Huh? There's no reason for me to do that. Claire, you really are stubborn. So you don't care if my son divorces you. Yes, I'm tired of it. I'm fine with that. I'm tired of you and Kevin. Oh lord, how could you say that? You are the one who is being fed by Kevin. No, I am the one providing for him. Huh? I'm fine divorcing my husband who only makes $500 a month. $500? Yes, he only makes that much. He only works for a part-time job. What? Stop lying. He makes $5,000 a month. Where did you get that number, mom? I asked my son. When I asked him about his monthly income, he said 5 using his hand. So he didn't actually say $5,000. You just misunderstood on your own. What? I guess it's unbelievable that your son only makes $500. But it's true, mom. And yet you look down on me and you were selfish all the time. I don't need a husband like that anymore. Oh yeah? I don't want a lying wife either. Okay, mom. I will divorce him. I don't care what will happen to both of you. I will never forgive you. Whatever, Claire. <laughs> you are the one who's a liar and works part-time. I don't care if you can make a living. Well then, my loving son and I will live happily together in a new house. No, you can't. The house will be returned to its real owner. What? Return it? The real owner? Claire? What's going on here? Your brother came and told us to get out of this house. He's throwing our stuff outside. Why is he being so violent? Make him stop, please. Oh, there you go. What the hell is this? The place that you're staying is my brother's place. What? My brother, Phil, had a dream to own a house from an early age. He had been working hard since he was a student. And he got his own house at the age of 26. That's the house that you and Kevin moved into. What are you talking about? It's Kevin's house, Claire. Kevin bought it for me to live together. Do you think someone who only makes $500 a month can buy a house? Kevin just took the spare key without my brother's permission. When Phil finally decided to live there, he was transferred to a local branch office for three years. While he was away, I took care of the spare key. What? I don't know what Kevin said to you, but my brother told me everything. When he came back home to clean the house, he found out that someone else took his place. Of course, he will ask you to get out of his own house. Oh my god! What am I supposed to do? Why don't you just leave? It's not your house. You can just hide in there. 
How about you tell your brother that he should give this house to me and Kevin right now? What? Are you stupid? You're the stupid one. I am the mother-in-law. Your brother should listen to me. How could he kick out of his mother-in-law like this? And you too, disrespecting me all the time. Who do you think you are? It doesn't make any sense. Mother-in-law? I don't consider you as my mother-in-law anymore. What? I told you I'm divorcing Kevin. I already submitted the divorce papers. You did? How could you do that without telling Kevin? It's invalid. You are crazy. It's valid. The documents were properly accepted, and I didn't do anything wrong at all. And Kevin was being prepared about this too. What do you mean? Do you know that six months ago, he resigned from the company without telling me? What? Since then, I was working full-time. I thought he would look for a new job while doing his part-time job. But even after a month had passed, he didn't start doing the job hunting seriously. He just does a short-term job or a day job whenever he wanted. Or most of the time, he is just lazy around. So, I came up with an idea. I asked him to make a promise, if he don't find a new real job within 5 months, we will get a divorce. Then 5 months have already passed, so we're officially getting a divorce. What? So what you were saying was all true? I can't believe it! Well, it's a day job, so the monthly salary changes every time. I would say the maximum was $500. Why don't you ask your son about it? You should talk to him, not just assume. Anyways, I have no further interest in your son's financial situation. What? Oh, also, my brother has called the police. The police? Of course, what you're doing right now is an intrusion into someone's private property. Please get out of my brother's house as soon as possible. That's all I have to say. Claire, listen to me! Goodbye. How is it going since then, sis? Is everything going well? Yes, it's going well. I've decided where I'm going to move to. So I guess the first thing to do is to pack. I'm sorry for all the trouble, Phil. No, it's not your fault. I'm fine. So what are you going to do with that house? I'm sorry again for what happened. No worries. I wanted to talk about that too. The price of land in that area has skyrocketed and I've been able to sell double the price I paid for it. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I'm so glad about it. I'm also thinking about getting a new job. I wasn't sure what would happen then, but it looks like things are going to turn out better in the end. Yeah, I'm glad that you were able to sell that house that much. Me too. I know you're starting from scratch. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'll come visit you at your new place when I have free time. See you soon. Okay, Phil. See you. Kevin and his mom were taken by police after that conversation. Then his uncle came to pick them up and took them home. It seems that Kevin lied to his mom by telling her that he had bought a house. They had a big fight every day because of her stupid misunderstanding about his salary. The uncle got furious and Kevin got scolded to find a real job. Since then, he finally started looking for a job. I heard that job hunting has been very difficult, and both of them have lost a lot of weight due to the stress. They don't seem to have the time to mess with me, which has brought peace to my life. Luckily, I got a promotion right after what happened. A new chapter in my life begins now. I'm enjoying your fiancé. These words. I've heard these words before. You were looking forward to a destination wedding. It's too bad. I'm going to take your place in the ceremony. I guess it's all over for you, huh? Could it be that this day has finally come for me? The day I've been looking forward to for so long? Wow, I'm getting nervous. 
What are you talking about? Never mind. Um, may I know your name? Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. My name is Gina. Please remember my name, the name of the woman who stole your fiancé. Gina. I can't believe I got a text from Gina, who is like a real-life soap opera star. I'm so touched. What do you mean by soap opera star? I love soap operas. I binge watch them. Oh, do you? I never thought that my life would be filled with this kind of drama. It's like I'm the main character of a soap series. And to hear it from you, Gina, I'm so moved. I can't believe this day has come. Um, if you don't mind, could you autograph my book or something? I don't understand why you are so happy. By the way, do you know me? My beauty has reached even a regular person like you, hasn't it? No comment on the beauty thing, but you're a celebrity. You're the Gina who's been going through your neighbor's husbands. Well, what a thing to say. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? No, I'm just impressed. I'm starstruck. Thank you for the text. I'm surprised. You have no right to thank me. I wonder if you're going into shock. Right. I'm sorry. I was a little overwhelmed with joy. I never thought this day would come. Joy? You mean you're not sad? I stole your fiancé from you. I even hijacked your destination wedding. Let me ask you something. Answer my question first. Well, I have a question that's been bothering me for a while. Make it quick. What is it? I was wondering if it's possible. My wedding dress. Are you going to use it as is, Gina? Oh, no. I got rid of that stupid dress. Of course, I took it out with the trash. I will wear a nicer dress that is more appropriate for me. You hijacked the wedding. And you even trashed the dress. That's Gina for you. You've been talking nonsense for a while now. Did you want for me to steal your fiancé? No, no, no. No, of course not. That's a huge shock to me. Ha 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 ha. I know, right before the wedding, your fiancé was taken away from you. How good it feels to take something that belongs to someone else. So, I have one favor to ask you. What's up with you? You're being rude asking me for a favor. Really, Gina? My fiancé was stolen right before my wedding. I'm miserable. Have some mercy on me. I guess it can't be helped. It is my duty as the noble one to show mercy to this pathetic little girl. Please, say whatever you like. At least to soothe this bitter heart, May I see your impersonations, Gina? What are you talking about all of a sudden? Are you all right in the head? I heard that you are good at impersonating comedians. I'm just trying to ease the shock of having my fiancé and wedding hijacked. You are really weird. And to think that you know about my impersonations, it's kind of scary. I guess my awesomeness is well known. Can you do me that favor? You took everything from me. So you'd do that for me, wouldn't you? I don't mind. Can I send it over the phone? If you use your phone's voice messaging service, you can send me a voice message. If you let me hear it, I'll gladly give you the wedding next month. Please let me hear it. Well, then, here we go. Yes! It still feels weird that you asked for it. What did you say? What kind of attitude is that after stealing someone's husband? You've got to be kidding me! What? What are you saying all of a sudden? And what husband? It's your fiancé, isn't it? He's already your husband? No, we haven't registered yet. I meant to say my fiancé. I'm just getting so worked up because you stole him. I wanted to try getting angry, but I made a mistake. The only thing you got wrong was the timing of your outburst. I see. Thanks for saying so. I didn't mean it as a compliment. Talking to you makes me feel like I'm going crazy. No wonder you got dumped with a brain like that. Please don't say that. I'm seriously depressed. Um, can I go to the wedding? 
I'm also interested in what your new dress looks like. Definitely not. I finally understand what you're thinking. You're trying to ruin my wedding, aren't you? No, I won't do that. I couldn't get closure just from your text, so I thought I'd get it when I saw the wedding. I thought if I saw it in person, I could get over it. You do have a point. So you will invite me? If you can make it overseas, come. Yes, I'll save up and dress to come. You're a bit scary, actually. Please don't come. I'm done talking with you. Have a nice day. I'm 38 years old. I was planning to get married abroad next month, just the two of us. As you can see, Gina has taken over, and yet I feel like a girl I usually watch in daytime dramas. I was so excited that I forgot about myself. I was so excited that I got carried away. Gina's famous in this neighborhood for taking other people's husbands. She's a person who loves to take things, and she talks like a celebrity. I never expected to get a text from Gina, who's famous in the neighborhood. My ex is rich and the president of a company that Gina loves. Maybe it's no wonder she went after him. Huh? Oh, by the way, I was so excited that I forgot. How did she know how to contact me? I forgot to ask her. I guess he must have told her. I'm very depressed even though I'm acting like this. I was in love with him. Gina rubbed more salt into the wound. How do you like it? Does it look good on me? This is the first time I've seen a picture of you. You're beautiful, aren't you? Oh my, I got complimented again. Tell me more, I love it. It's like casting pearls before swine, but it does look nice. I think I'm going to fall over the moment I see it. Oh no, that's not a compliment. I am a pearl. I am the hottest thing you've ever seen. Oh, it's true. I rode swine by mistake. I'm sorry. My fingers were moving all by themselves. I hope you've given up now. When are you going to get out of the apartment? My parents have cut me off and I have nowhere to go. Can't you just let me stay here until I find a job? No one will hire a crazy woman like you. I can get a job. I'll find a job soon. You're going to stay there forever, aren't you? Oh, did you guess that? I thought I could stay on a for a few more months. You're surprisingly perceptive, Gina. I'm so disappointed. You should go back to your parents' house. I told you earlier that I was cut off from them. I'm all alone in the world. I'm so pitiful, aren't I? I thought I'd found a boyfriend who's the president of a big company and my life was going to be happy from now on, but... I thought I was going to be happy with my life, but you stole him away from me, and now I'm alone again. Life is so difficult, isn't it? Well, it is, isn't it? I'm a compassionate person. I'll get you some cardboard boxes from the supermarket. After I get them, you can use them. I'll ask a friend of mine who lives nearby. I don't need cardboard. It's warm because I have heating. The electricity in the apartment will be turned off soon. I'll shut off the water, too, so you won't be able to stay there. You can turn off the water, but please don't turn off the heating. I beg you. Even if you ask politely, it's no good. From today, you should stay outdoors. That's your place now, as a homeless lady. I understand. You're so understanding. I should talk like a celebrity like you. No, you shouldn't. You're not a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. Besides, you don't have to say it like that. I understand exactly how you feel, Gina. You really have no dignity, do you? How dare you call me a celebrity when you don't even know how to use language? I will try to be as close to you as possible, Gina. I was a fool to think you could understand me. I apologize, ma'am. I'm not a ma'am. I'll have you thrown out immediately. I'll at least be merciful and find you some cardboard boxes. If you do that, 
I'll talk to some gang members. I'm going to scare the shit out of you. I beg your pardon? Do you know such people? No, I guess I don't know anyone like that. Don't try to scare me. It's despicable to lie like that. What's that? The lights are out. Looks like his friends have arrived. Well, I really hope you have a nice day this time. There you are. Don't you dare harass me. Do you have any idea what will happen to you if you do this? Ah, what's up, Gina? Thank you for the cardboard. Where are you now? Tell me. I need to ask you something in person. I'm at work. Where is it? I'll be with you in a moment. I'm having dinner with a client. I'm afraid I can't see you right now. Is it so urgent? Then just tell me by text. I'd like to ask you about it as soon as possible. My husband says he was fired by you. What the hell does that mean? It was decided by the board, not by me. Huh? You are talking nonsense again. Are you trying to trick me? Your husband was fired because he embezzled company money. The board of directors unanimously decided that he should be fired. Don't lie to me. What? Lie? Lie? I'm not lying. That's not what I meant. Well, what did you mean then? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm so frustrated. It's like exercise chatting with someone who runs you in circles. <laughs> so, can I lose weight just by doing this? If you want to lose weight, shall we talk some more? You can't trick me, you know. How do you know that it's the board of directors? Answer me right away. My father is the president of the parent company of your husband's company. What the hell? You never said anything about that. My father cut off the relationship between them. What? My father didn't like my fiancé. Oh, sorry, I mean your husband. Anyway, he was against me marrying him, and he said, If you marry him, I'll cut off our business relationship. So we were going to elope. What? Was that so? And then, as soon as my father cut me off, you took him away from me. I was so heartbroken. You hijacked our wedding, threw away my dress. I felt like I was thrown out too. My husband never mentioned anything like that to me. He's a vain man. Maybe he only shows you the best parts of himself. I'll get him on the phone right away to see if what you're saying is true. I'll find out if you're lying. It's true. There's no point in me lying like this. If it's true, what will happen to us? I guess you can live outdoors. Shall I find some cardboard boxes? I need to live outdoors? Would you like to stay at my house? Where do you live now? I live in a townhouse in front of the station. What? You mean that recently built luxury apartment building? I thought you didn't have any money. My father bought it for me when I ended up not getting married. What? He was on the verge of cutting me off, but when I told him about the circumstances of what happened, he forgave me. He also returned the shares of the parent company to me. I have money too. Shares? You also own stocks? Yes, I do. I originally planned to succeed my father. I'm the largest shareholder. What's going on? It's a text from my husband. I was fired from my job after being caught embezzling. What should I do about the 500000 I spent? I wonder how he can pay it back. 500000 is a bit much, don't you think? I wonder if he finally admitted his guilt. You will have a tough time from now on. Even for a celebrity like you, 500000 seems like a lot of money. It's a small amount of money, but I don't have any money on hand right now. Ah, if you have money, please lend me 500000 Hmm, I don't know what to do. I know, I'll do an impression. You said you wanted to hear it, right? Oh, really? I want to hear it. Please send it to me. Wow, you're good at it, Gina. I couldn't help but smile. I'm honored that you're pleased. Well, since I'm already asking, I'll borrow a hundred thousand. Huh? You suddenly turned serious. All at once, I lost interest in lending it to you. 
Oh, why? What's wrong? It's strange that you suddenly want me to lend twice as much money, isn't it? Oh, I made a typo. Please lend me 500000 Definitely not. Oh, why? What's wrong? Oh, I know. Let's be friends from now on. You love me, don't you? I'll even sign an autograph for you. You said you wanted it before. I don't love you, you idiot. What's the matter with you all of a sudden? You took my fiancé and trashed the dress I chose. Don't play dumb with me. Please, calm down. You said you were smiling earlier. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? What's wrong with you? You even hijacked the destination wedding I was looking forward to. I can't calm down. Well, I don't know what to do. And I'm supposed to go homeless in the middle of winter? You're the one that should be homeless. That was out of line. I apologize for that. I thought I wouldn't sue you now that I've got my money back. But you'll have to pay me alimony, and you can tell your husband that. Please, don't do that. Like I said before, we don't have any money on hand. Please have mercy on me at least. Don't be stupid. If you think you're the only one who can be strong, you're mistaken. Work day and night and make sure you pay back the company. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I swear to you, what did you say back? What did you say back? Yes. Ah, I feel better now. After all, it's hard to be taken seriously if you don't lose your temper at the end, isn't it? I, um... Ah, there's a text from my husband. I got caught embezzling and was fired from my job. Don't ever tell anyone about the 500000 I spent. Well, what should I do? You're one step too late. You already told the truth yourself, didn't you? If you would just keep quiet, that would be enough. Please don't tell anyone. I'm sorry. I've already sent a screenshot to my father. It's too late. Damn. You seem angry, so I'll block you now. Please wait. I'm sorry. Please, 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 please give me some money. Please make me a celebrity again. Gina's husband was caught embezzling and had to pay for his crime. He had to go to prison. To pay back the 500000 that he had spent, Gina decided to make a career out of her impressions and applied for a TV show. She applied for the show, but was unsuccessful. She works as a cleaner by day and a traffic guard by night. She has fallen from celebrity overnight and is now just an ordinary person who is good at impersonations. I am a little disappointed that I no longer see Gina as a celebrity. The alimony to me is being paid by garnishment of her wages. I started working to take over my father's company. I am usually an anxious person, but I can do my job well. At first, I was depressed because my fiancé was taken away from me. But I am very glad that I did not marry a man who embezzles money. I've got some disappointing news for you, Zoe. Your wedding and your fiancé are now mine. How embarrassing for you to have your aunt steal a man away from you. <laughs> you must be crying and lamenting right about now. Aw, how pitiful. Aunt Jessie, you're taking jokes too far on the eve of my wedding. Such provocative jests might keep me up all night, which might affect me on my big day tomorrow. It'd be quite troublesome, so will you stop it? It's not a joke. You'll be so frustrated that you won't be able to stop grinding your teeth. <laughs> your wedding is called off, so it's okay if you oversleep. Please, stop it. You're going to attend tomorrow in place of my mother in heaven, aren't you? I have absolutely no intention of doing so. Bruno and I are the same age and our chemistry is perfect. What? We work in the same department, so we naturally got drawn to each other. Last night was so much fun too, we were totally into it. Doing it right before the wedding felt so scandalous yet so exciting that he was totally turned on. Wait, are you actually serious about this? Obviously, you were just setting the stage for us. 
I guess it's not easy to accept such a cruel reality right away, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. By the way, I didn't seduce him. He chose me over you. He said he likes my sophisticated, immature vibes. Oh no, I must be dreaming. I wish I could wake up from this nightmare soon. I think your eyes are wide awake. You're the only one who thinks of me as a mother figure. Your late mom and I were 14 years apart, but you and I are only six. I know, but I never knew you weren't on the same page as me. Anyway, I can't believe it. Bruno would never betray me. Especially not like this, on the eve of my wedding. It feels like a bad dream. You still have such a blissfully naive mind. Huh? Because you were adored and doted upon growing up, you don't know how to doubt others. Even Bruno laughed at how easy it was to fool you. Poor sheltered heiress, really. No way. Since when? When did this start? Have you already consummated your relationship? Consummate? <laughs> Which era do you live in? We've been lovey-dovey for about three months now. He's head over heels for me. Before you get married to him, we exchanged marital bonds as a couple. <laughs> I didn't notice at all. I'm really shocked. Your optimistic way of thinking actually saved me. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I need to confirm with him. You can't reach him. Why not? Because he changed his number today. What? We exchanged messages last night. That was just to deceive you. You fell for it completely. Such a moron. There's no way he would do such a thing. Oh? This is weird. What's wrong? His icon is empty on WhatsApp. See? I told you. <laughs> he didn't want you to contact him, so he changed his phone number. But but what should I do on such short notice? Tomorrow's the wedding. It'll cause trouble for the venue if the bride changes. Don't worry about that. I've already informed them. What about the guests? It'll be confusing if the bride is different. That's also taken care of. You didn't send out the invitations yourself, did you? Well, no. Bruno said he would handle it, so I left it to him. How do you know about that? You might have thought you left it to him, but in reality, I sent them out. My relatives and friends received invitations for the wedding of Bruno and me. There's no problem at all. <laughs> OMG, what have you done? I need to tell my father urgently. There's no need for that. He already knows. Really? He was vehemently against you marrying Bruno, right? Yes. But then he suddenly gave his permission. Didn't you think it was strange? Well, I guess not, huh? Your head sounds to be in the clouds. I thought he finally understood. Of course not. See, you're really a ditzy blonde. I heard you even said that you would elope if he didn't improve. Yes, that was my intention. I love him that much. Love him, huh? <laughs> and yet he chose me. You must be devastated for being dumped. <laughs> you were the only one in the entire world who thought you were getting married to him. <laughs> Your father was troubled when he heard you were going to elope. So I planned the whole thing to make you give up on the marriage. Why did you come up with such a cruel plan? Because I hate you. Do you? This is the first time I've ever heard you say that. That's because it's the first time I've said it since you were born. Ah, it's liberating. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest. Since we're at it, let me say more. I hate you. Hate you. Really, really, really hate you. I'm quite shocked. Really? Good. Let it get you even more down. Why do you keep saying nasty things to me? You know, we both work at your father's company, but the treatment we get is totally different. You're a crushy secretary, and I'm stuck in the plain old general affairs department just because I'm his sister-in-law. You've got it all wrong. Being a secretary isn't easy. Besides, you requested to be in the GA, didn't you? No excuses. Well, it's true that I was transferred to GA because I was aiming for Bruno, but how could your father just leave me there for all this time? I remember that was your wish, too. Was it? 
I don't recall wishing for that. I would think someone as beautiful and capable as me should be in a better position. By the way, I had my eye on Bruno first. But then you came out of nowhere and messed things up for me. I didn't mess anything up, and you're accusing me for the wrong reason. You didn't have to resort to such a cruel revenge. I want to throw you down to the depths of despair. I decided to expose everything on the eve of your wedding to give you the biggest shock. <laughs> it's a great success, and it feels amazing. You're despicable. Let me tell you something good. Bruno wasn't interested in you, but he was after your money. No way, that can't be true. It's an undeniable fact. I'm in a state of shock right now. I can't even get up. It's like I'm trapped in a nightmare. I'm getting dizzy. Just stay in bed and cry your eyes out. I'll send you the wedding photos tomorrow, so look forward to it. Please don't. I won't be able to recover from it. Oh yeah? Whatever happens to you doesn't matter to me at all. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. The ceremony was amazing. The clear sky seemed to be blessing us, right? Now it's time for the reception. Here, I'll share our happiness with you too. The table flowers I picked out. Please stop sending me pictures like this. Sorry, it was taken as a celebration of our fruit of love. <laughs> What's the fruit of love? It's our baby. It's due next year, so I'll send you a picture. Oh my god. Double shock. Oh my, it sounds like I gave you a good body blow. I wonder if you've taken so much damage that you can't get up anymore. How far along are you? Three and a half months. I haven't had morning sickness and my belly hasn't grown yet, so I was able to wear my dress beautifully. Three and a half months. That's right after Bruno proposed to me. I know. He told me. He's been deceiving you ever since. Oh, dear God. On the day of an office party, we became involved in a passionate relationship. I see. Right around that time, your father was troubled about your engagement. When I told him I wanted to marry Bruno, he said he couldn't assist, but I could do as I pleased. What on earth? You could say I'm the savior. Thanks to me, everything fell into place perfectly. <laughs> if so, there was no need for me to prepare for the wedding in the first place, right? I thought I could be with Bruno, so I carefully chose the venue, flowers, and dress, one by one. But in reality, you were having me prepare for your wedding, weren't you? You're realizing that just now? Oh, I see. You were too shocked to think about it yesterday. <laughs> You know, I really hate dealing with complicated things. You know that about me too, don't you? I'm aware. Still, letting me know on the day before the wedding is just cruel. Well, like I said, I wanted to push you into the depths of hell. And besides, I had to go this far to make you give up. Isn't that right? It seemed you were quite serious about eloping. <laughs> That's... I just created a situation where you had to give up. Well, it turned out to be a shotgun wedding. <laughs> Thanks to the baby, I made sure your relationship with Bruno was irreparable. Isn't it great? <laughs> it's too much to make me go through this painful experience. That's hilarious. The taste of others' misfortune is truly sweet, you know. Your suffering is the best wedding gift. Why would you say such things? I might end up resenting you. Go right ahead. Feel free to resent me as much as you want. I can't get enough of your jealousy. <laughs> the more you suffer, the happier I become. Aunt Jessie, you're so cruel. Really? I'm just normal. Today's the best day of my life. If you have more to say, go ahead. There's still time until the reception, so keep writing. I'm going to hit back at all of them and thoroughly break you down. <laughs> That's enough. Aw, are you hurting too much? I can't help but laugh. Crawl into the depths of hell to your heart's content. <laughs> you must have done something. I haven't been able to contact Bruno since this morning. Did he run away? Run away? Why would he? I filed a lawsuit against him for marriage fraud. 
What the heck are you talking about? He deceived me by saying we were getting married, which is a clear case of fraud. I've consulted the appropriate authorities about it. Don't pull such a dirty trick! Also, I've requested reimbursement for the wedding expenses. No way! I wasn't told there would be any expenses. It was you and Bruno's wedding, so isn't it obvious that you two cover the costs? I never agreed to that. You've already paid, haven't you? I just fronted $100,000. What? Seriously? You spent that much? You had the staff work twice as hard to take over the wedding. And you even had my dress altered to fit your size, which apparently added to the expenses. That's true, but I didn't expect to be billed for it. Why wouldn't you? It's quite obvious if you think about it for a moment, and... Is there something more? I've also demanded compensation from Bruno. Huh? Compensation for what? You two weren't even married. Even if we hadn't formalized the marriage, I was engaged, so the breach of marriage promise is still applicable in our state. If you think I'm lying, please, look into it. Hello, why are you quiet? You didn't run away, did you? I was googling. How much are you planning to demand? $20,000. That sounds way too much. You're trying to overcharge him. There's no such thing as overcharging for damages. It depends on the skill of the lawyer. So he ran away. I can't believe that guy. I'll definitely find him. You don't need to worry about that. He'll be found soon. Did you use your father's influence? No, he kept the Google account sharing settings as they were so I could easily know his whereabouts. I'm tracking his real-time location accurately. What a moron! Indeed. Oh, by the way, about the reason he joined the company a year ago. Reason? He simply changed jobs, didn't he? He had committed marriage fraud, swindling a wealthy woman in his previous job. So he couldn't stay at the company and changed jobs. What? Really? How do you know all that? I had a private detective look into it. You're dreadful. Just normal. I think he was after your money as well as mine. Did you lend him any? No, never, but last night after we had dinner at a restaurant, he said he forgot to withdraw cash. He asked me to lend him my credit card and I gave it to him. Oh, that doesn't sound good. You'd better check right away. Really? Let me check on my phone. Oh, darn it! What? The full credit limit has been withdrawn. What should I do? Oh no, my wallet is missing. My ATM card. That bastard. Don't tell me this one too. You'd better check that too right away. No way. It's over for me. All the money in the account has been withdrawn. I'm very sorry to hear. How much was in your account? Eight hundred dollars. Um, you didn't miscount the number of zero, did you? No mistake, I have no savings and only the remaining 800 for my salary was in there. Aunt Jessie, you've been working all your life, right? What do you do with your salary every month? Well, I can't resist buying designer items when I see them. I just buy them right away. That's how my charm as a rich and beautiful person shines, so it's fine. I see. That's why you wear so many brand name things. You seem to have no interest in luxury brands even though you're rich. Well, I prioritize functionality. Could it be that Bruno switched to you after seeing your appearance? Huh? So when he said he liked the sophisticated and mature vibe, was he referring to wanting someone wealthy because they're better targets for fraud? I believe so. If he realized you're not rich, he won't come back, you know? Hey, check his location right now. Go there right now and get all my money back. There's a bag I really want. It's a unique piece. I want to get it today. I don't want to give it to anyone. Okay. You thought I'd just obey you, Jessica? You're 36 and talking about a bag at a time like this? Are you kidding me? You idiot who can't even control your own desires. Um, Zoe, you sound like a different person. You usually talk like a lady, right? What happened? You're suddenly bitchy. I'm just as I am. I've had to become strong because of you since I was a kid. You've never grown up, you fool. Listen to me now. For the sake of the baby that's about to be born, you better get your life together. Since you were a kid, you sound like my 
sister. No way. It can't be. You can't fool me. I'm Pat, your big sister. I hate people who live half-heartedly. You know that, don't you? Is this really she from the afterlife? You're slow to realize because you're so despicable I came back. Um, I don't know what to say. How's it possible for you to come back? Children are the treasures of the parents, you know. I want to raise Zoe with my own hands, but I couldn't do it. I left this world reluctantly. Do you understand how I feel? I've watched everything, including the way you've been mistreating her. I refrained from interfering as a spirit from the afterlife, but for once, I'm losing my patience. I'm really sorry, Pat. You better realize that you must be a good parent by the time the baby is born. But listen, I'm not going to raise a child. God, Jessica, come on. I'm not. You know, I'm not pregnant. Huh? I lied about it because I was desperate to take Bruno away from Zoe. If I didn't, I thought they might elope, and it would be too late. You got to be kidding me. Shall I give you good spankings? I'm sorry, Pat. What should I do from now on? Figure it out for yourself. You're going to discuss it with that idiot, Bruno. And no more unnecessary shopping. Work hard and pay back Zoe. Do you understand? What's your answer? Yes. I understand. Hmm? Oh no, what happened to me? I was out of it for a while. Well, thank God you're back. You really don't remember? Are you sure you're not pretending? Pretending to be an innocent lady while secretly hiding acting talents, perhaps? What are you talking about? Your mom possessed you and was sending me messages. My mother? She scolded me. She's still as intimidating as ever. Oh my. Surely there are messages that I don't remember sending. This intensity, it brings back memories. Oh, mother, I want to see you too. Well, we didn't actually see each other. Zoe, you're so blessed, it's unfair. Your father pays all your living expenses. I think you got it all wrong. I work hard from morning till night to make ends meet. But working as a secretary seems like mere play, you know. Not at all. From managing schedules and setting appointments to creating documents, I'm busy from morning to night. I hardly have time for a break, let alone to enjoy a coffee. I thought you had an easy job. Um, I have a little favor to ask. Can you give in just a tiny bit? I mean, the $100,000 for the wedding? There's no way I can afford that. Please, just a little bit. I'm getting really angry now. I've read it in books before. By experiencing this trembling of frustration for the first time? Right, I understand quite well now. What do you mean? Continuing to be in your comfort zone isn't good for you, that's what I mean. You should experience how tough it is out there. You don't have the kind of authority to say that, do you? Yes, I do. I've been in charge of personnel since last month. I know you've been forcing your subordinates to do your work and leaving early without permission. Um, what? I have occasionally observed your work performance. At first, I thought you were assigning tasks for educational purposes, but recently it seems to have gone too far. It's just a coincidence when you were there. I'm usually quite busy. Well, it's not like I don't even have time for a coffee, but you might see it as being less busy compared to you as a secretary. Is that right? I received reports from the department chief as well. You'll be asked to leave immediately. This is not a discussion, but a decision. Oh no, where am I supposed to go? Can't you spare me just this? No, this decision is final, so please start looking for a new job as soon as possible. I've been left by Bruno too. I don't know what I'm going to do now. If I get fired, I won't be able to pay you back either. Please, look for another job. No, please, don't fire me. That's enough. You're not in a position to ask me for favors. I'm in trouble. I'm really in trouble. Am I dreaming? I'm getting dizzy. It's just like me on the eve of the wedding, but there's no time for you to stay in bed. You'll be contacted by my lawyer soon for the claims. I won't give up a single cent for wedding expenses. Please find a new job and pay up. Please don't do this. I beg you to retract my dismissal. You're only thinking about yourself to the end. Don't you feel any remorse towards me? 
If I apologize, will you forgive me? Will you waive the wedding expenses? If so, I'll apologize. Both are a firm no. I hope you crawl into the depths of hell and change your ways. Bruno was quickly found and ended up in prison for his second marriage fraud. I made sure that he and Aunt Jessie agreed to pay the wedding expenses and compensation in installments. After she was removed from my father's company, she's working as a public toilet cleaner. It would be great if she could clean her mind as well while polishing those toilets every day. Hi, Cassidy. I'm sorry to trouble you, but can you prepare some money urgently? I need it right away for an additional surgery. Hi, Heidi. An additional surgery? Are you okay? Was there a problem with the recovery from last month's surgery? Unfortunately, it's so hard to deal with all these issues while being sick, you know? So about the money, can you manage it? If possible, 10,000. 10,000? Oh my god. Are you taking a bigger surgery than before? It's more expensive than last month. Are you sure you're okay? I'll go talk to the doctor at the hospital to get more information. Have you contacted Jason yet? If you haven't, I'll... Oh, don't worry about that. He's a very sweet boy and I don't want to trouble him with unnecessary worries. If he finds out that I'm having consecutive surgeries, he won't be able to focus on his work either, that's for sure. But you kept the one you had last month as a secret to him, and I've already loaned you 5,000. If you need 10,000 this time, it's a bit too much for me to afford that by myself. Oh my, are you not allowed to handle that much money alone? After all, Jason is a responsible man. You're a lazy woman. If he lets you manage the money, who knows how it might be spent? Oh, do you think so? I've never been called lazy. You see, you haven't even gotten pregnant yet. It's been a year since you got married and time is precious. What do you do every day without even working? Neglecting your duties as a wife and lazing around, it's embarrassing. I'm working, you know. I'm currently working from home, not just lazing around. Here you go. Excuses. I just want you to be a proper wife. This is why I said that you're lazy. Your rebellion against your mother-in-law is a disgrace. You should be ashamed of yourself. Um, okay. But regarding the child, I'm seeing the specialist. Jason and I discuss things as a couple, so... Are you still talking back to me? I don't care what you claim, but what about the money? Jason's my only son, you know. I want you to understand that much, at least. Keep it a secret from him, okay? Um, I don't quite understand what you mean by keep it a secret. Do you mean you don't want him to know about your illness? I didn't tell him about last month's surgery because it was a minor procedure, but this time... It's no big deal this time either. So will you have the money ready soon? No, I still need to talk to him about it. I told you! I don't want him to worry! You really lack of kindness, you know? You don't care about other people's feelings. If he finds out and gets upset, I'll be sad too. Both of us will be hurt! I wonder if you lack a sense of compassion, not just as a daughter-in-law, but as a person! I'm sorry. That's why I was against your marriage. The amount of disposable money I've had is completely different since you came into the family. Excuse me? What do you mean? Never mind. I'll ask Jason directly. Hun, again? Give me a break. What's wrong? What are you talking about? I heard you were nasty to my mom again. She complained like crazy and I had barely had a lunch break. Come on, please. Just get along a bit better with her. She's a pain in the neck. Don't get all irritated and mean. She's your mother-in-law, so try to be considerate. Huh? I didn't say anything mean. She said you threatened to spill some secret favor that was asked between you two. What the heck? That's not it. It's true I was asked for a favor, but it was about something really significant. I couldn't make the decision alone, so I told her I would consult with you. That's not at all what she said. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that I'm lying? Look, I'm not taking size, but she has more life experience, you know. You need to handle things better in that aspect. 
but you see... Yeah, sure, excuses. Just act more like an obedient wife. Instead of complaining all the time, try to be a bit more patient. Anyway, if you want this relationship to last, figure it out. I gotta get back to work. I think you'll get angry if we talk face to face, so I'll say it here. I want you to divorce Jason. What on earth are you saying out of the blue? You see, before you married him, he had a fiancé. She was the daughter of my acquaintance, a professor at a university. She had a very feminine physique, was stunningly beautiful, and had the intelligence of her father. She was a pleasant person to talk to and I really liked her. She was the complete opposite of you in many ways. I haven't heard anything about this from him. Of course not. He's so kind. I believed he stayed silent because he thought it might hurt you. The professor is a genetist. He said that the exceptional genes of Jason and his daughter were an incredible match. We had intentions of having them marry. Oh my god, I had no idea he had a fiancé. Are you saying I stole him from someone else? Exactly! You suddenly appeared and took away my precious son! That's why I want you guys to divorce as soon as possible. For Jason's happiness, I want him to have children soon. He'd be much better off with a woman who's genetically compatible than an incompetent woman like you. Just pay me $10,000 in compensation for the act of swaying him. You can send me a check as usual. Compensation? Are you saying that I have to pay you? Why is that? Why? You took away my only son, isn't it obvious? You're the one at fault here, and I'm the victim. Anyway, I'll ask him tonight when he gets home. It's a serious matter, and I want to hear it from him directly. You know, he's so sweet. I doubt that he'll be honest with you. He couldn't even bring himself to ask for a divorce, poor thing. Wait, is he also saying that he wants a divorce? We were together this morning, and he didn't mention anything. I mean, I've never heard a single word about a fiancé until now. I've told you, right? He's really a considerate person. He knows that you'll get hurt if he tells the truth. He's too distressed to speak up, so I finally convey his feelings for him. But here you are, you want to confront him and cause him more trouble. You really are the worst. Oh no, you mean he never loved me? Well, I'm sorry, but you and I are also not compatible at all. Maybe you can consider this as fate, not being on your side. Even if he's kind and couldn't bring himself to hurt me by speaking up? Keeping something this important a secret for so long? Why did he choose me over that person to marry in the first place? Maybe he was pressured into marriage by you and he couldn't refuse. It's all your fault for taking advantage of his kindness. Being with a wife who lacks common sense like you, it's nothing but a massive source of stress on him. I see. I guess there's no point in staying married if we're both disgusted with each other. Oh, you're quite obedient at the end. Okay, I agree to the divorce. But it can't happen immediately. So please, give us at least a month to file the papers. I need to prepare for my future as well. If you pay me the 10000 immediately, that'll be fine. Huh? Send me a check right away. Then I'll wait for a month. If you don't, fall for divorce right now. Hey, Cassidy, hurry up and send me the check. I said I'll wait if you did. I knew you were irresponsible, but to think you can't even keep a promise. What a terrible person you turned out to be. Hey, answer me. You're deliberately ignoring me even though you're seeing this, aren't you? That's how you bully the elderly. If you can't even have kids, get out of there at the second. If you don't want to, just send the check already. Cassidy, you're intentionally defying me, aren't you? Until you send me the check. I'm going to call your home phone every single day. And I heard that you accused Jason last night. I won't forgive you. From today, he won't go back there again. Such a wife is a bad influence on him. Poor him. What in the world is going on? What are these? Cassidy, what are these documents? Answer me. 
Oh, Heidi, you got them, huh? You've been ignoring me for a month. And what's with that attitude? I haven't. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I rang your home phone every day and you never answered it. Oh, that was you. Yes, since you broke your promise and didn't send the check I called to harass you. It was an unknown number, so I intentionally didn't answer. I was wondering who it was. I see, it was you, and you clearly said you were calling to harass me. Um, no, I don't know what you're talking about. You just said so yourself, didn't you? I don't remember saying that. That's not important. What are these documents? Oh, those. Well, those are a copy of all the abusive remarks you've made to me over the past year, along with a diagnosis of depression since I had to see a psychiatrist because of that. And then a claim for compensation since my husband and I are getting a divorce because of you. And a bill for the 5,000 you owe me. Um, what the heck are you talking about? And finally, the divorce papers. Can you give them to Jason? He's staying with you, right? What in the world? A bill? Divorce papers? I'm totally confused. I was supposed to get $10,000 from you. Why do I have to face claims from you? This is completely unfair. Okay, let me break this down one by one. First, you've been verbally abusive to me for the past year. There's a list of the abusive remarks, along with the dates and times they were made. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't remember any of those. Well, because it's through text messages. Even if you don't remember, it's documented here. So even if you insist you don't remember, there's no way around it. This must be your forgery. These documents can be easily manipulated. How dare you try to extort money with forged documents from me? Such a shameless woman. Well, yes, as evidence, it might be weak, but I was diagnosed with depression as a result of it until recently. Interestingly, my symptoms cleared up suddenly once the divorce was decided. You say that as if the stress is gone. You were the one bullying me and enjoying yourself. You're making false accusations while conveniently seeking compensation. What's going on here? It's repulsive. That's fine, say what you want, but don't forget that I'm taking screenshots of this conversation as evidence. Anyway, I've sent you the invoices and everything I just told you. If you wish to fight back against them, you can go through a lawyer. Jeez, you've been talking nonsense for a while now. I don't know if it's nonsense or what, but the fact is I experienced emotional abuse from you, which led to a diagnosis of depression. And the fact is that you were the cause of my divorce. Additionally, your son, who was raised under your control and domination, also ended up controlling and dominating me in the same way, repeating the cycle of emotional abuse towards me. These are the facts, supported by evidence, and the result of consulting a lawyer. Hold on, what are you saying about Jason? You're a control freak who wants to dominate your over 30-year-old son. You know nothing about raising a child. You're childless. As a mother, it's only natural to find your son endearing, no matter how old he is. Certainly, as a mother, it's natural to worry about one's child and want to lend a helping hand or offer advice in any way. But doing so to an adult child becomes overbearing. From a young age, you've dictated everything for him. School, studies, friends, hobbies, bath times, and even when to sleep and wake up. If he doesn't follow your decisions, you're upset. Do you know what happens to a child raised in such an environment? Um, Cassidy? Now he tries to find meaning in his existence by imposing his ideas on his wife. You and your son are a classic case of this overbearing parent-child dynamic. Um, are you trying to blame me for this? Are you saying that because of my parenting he's now engaging in emotional abuse? He leaves everything related to marriage and divorce to you. Even though he's over 30, he still obeys every command you told him. That's the reality, isn't it? Once you start talking so eloquently, you put it in quite a way. Despite needing to fulfill your role as a woman properly, you're acting all high and mighty, but you're not without your share of reasons for the divorce either. Oh, really? And what might those be? I should have been surrounded by grandchildren inheriting the strongest genes by now. But thanks to you swooping in and taking him away, that dream has been shattered. A 
perfect reason for a divorce, I'd say. A barren woman like you is utterly useless. You're making enemies out of all women undergoing infertility treatments, you know. Dealing with it is extremely tough and costly. I've been through a lot and struggled with it myself. I feel sorry for you. I wonder what the point of being born as a woman. You're truly despicable. That's what you are. Then go ahead and say that to your own son. Pity him, unable to leave any descendants. A useless existence that serves no purpose. Question the meaning of being born as a man. Why would I need to tell him that? Unlike you, he is healthy. Don't insult him with your baseless accusations. You are the one doing exactly that. The reason we couldn't have children is because of his infertility issue. Didn't you hear about it? No. Because of him? Yup, it was revealed from the tests. I included the result along with the divorce papers. Didn't you see it? Really? Well, uh, it's true. The cause is azuspermia. Is this kind of joke? My son is like this? I couldn't bring myself to tell you until now, but the truth is, he's the reason. He knows as the result was out six months ago. Oh, God. Instead of examining genetic compatibility, you should have looked into more fundamental matters, you know. There's one more thing I want to say to you. Ugh, what is it now? You got more to say? Do you enjoy picking on an old lady? You really have a twisted sense of humor, don't you? If you had been a more respectable person, I wouldn't have had to resort to these actions. You lied to me, didn't you? You said you needed surgery because of an illness. Uh, well, that's... On the day I was admitted for the infertility test, you mentioned having surgery at the same hospital. So I went to the ward to greet the nurses, but there was no record of you in the admission history. That's... I just got confused with the name of the hospital. You invaded my privacy by looking into my medical records without permission. And what about you invading your son's privacy? I heard you went on a trip to Hawaii instead. The $5,000 I lent you was used for that trip, right? I received calls from the travel agency and the credit card company. They said the payment was insufficient for the withdrawal. Uh, well, that, um... I also found out that you had borrowed money from Jason multiple times before. No, I don't owe him money. He gave it to me. You're really despicable. Allowing yourself to freely use his money? You better stop this overbearing behavior. You're truly the worst kind of human being. You don't have to go that far. I told you I was just looking out for him and managing the finances. Come to think of it, you did mention once that the money you could use freely decreased after he married me. If you really cared about him, you wouldn't make such statements. As for why you needed the $10,000 for additional surgery, it was because you had payments to make for things bought during the trip. Why do you... It's not what you think, I just... I've had enough of this. I don't want anything to do with you and Jason anymore. From now on, please communicate with me through my lawyer. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we cut contacts? Um, wait! You don't have to rush and say it's the end. We can talk about this more thoroughly. No, I have nothing more to say to you. I'm actually grateful for the circumstances that led to this divorce. If I had a child, I might not have been able to break free from your influence. I really appreciate you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to block you now. Goodbye. Hold on! Cassidy! Please, listen to me! Come back! The divorce was successfully finalized. Strangely, Jason's the one making monthly payments for the compensation and debts from Heidi. It seems that she continues to live dependent on him, and he also appears to be unable to break free from her influence. Rumor has it that news of what exactly happened came out, and the professor's daughter even severed ties with them. As for me, I got a chihuahua after my divorce. While attending a dog training school, I met and married an instructor there. Now I'm cheerfully navigating the days with a lively one-year-old boy and the chihuahua, feeling grateful for my happiness. Nathalie? What are you doing? Where are you? 
Oh, mom, what's wrong? So where are you? I don't see you at home. Did you come to my house? You didn't tell me you were coming to my house. Why do I have to tell you every single time? Besides, you're a housewife. It's normal for you to be home all this time. But since you're not here, I was wondering what's going on. I'm sorry, I'm working. Working? You didn't tell me that. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. It just came out recently. You are always like this. I'm sorry, but I'm at work right now. So I'll message you during my break. What? Wait, Natalie, I'm your mother-in-law. Don't make me wait for you. Mom, I'm sorry for earlier. It's my break time now. We can talk a little now. You made me wait for two hours. What on earth have you been doing? I told you I'm working part-time today. I've been working from the opening time, so I wasn't home when you came to the house. Is that true? Yes. Oh, really? Or maybe you are having an affair or something. No way. I'm working now. Don't assume something like that without any proof. I don't know. You never know with wives these days, you know? I'll have to tell my son that you've been sneaking out during the day, saying you're working part-time. I wasn't sneaking around. Besides, Luke knows about my part-time job. Luke is an innocent guy. He believes everything. And he's so pure and innocent that he has no idea you're lying to him. But you know what? I will be fooled. Besides, if it's true that you're working, why do you have to work? What do you mean? That made me look like I have a bad son. What? It's like saying that Luke's salary is low. There's no other reason for a wife to work part-time than if she doesn't have enough money. You should quit your job now. It's not like that. I know. He graduated from a top university and works for a big company. I know he gets paid well. You should be thankful to my son who has been feeding you. Yes, I'm grateful. To be honest, you two are not a good match, you know? My son could get a better wife than you. I don't know what happened. Why would anyone want a high school dropout like you? I never dreamed that someone like you would marry my son. Luke has become an elite, but if his wife is like this, our family's prestige will be lowered. Um... So, what time you will be back? Well, I finish at 2 p.m., then I go grocery and come home. I think I will be home around 3 p.m. 3 p.m.? You're making me wait that long? You think I'm stupid, don't you? There are still three hours to go. What should I do about lunch? I'm sorry, I can't cook today. So if you could eat somewhere, that would be great. Are you serious? You're a wife and you won't even feed your husband's mother. If you're grateful to my son for providing you, you're supposed to do that. Mom, I'm sorry. My break time is almost over. I'm going back to work. Hello? Natalie? Hey, Mom. <coughs> what? Stop calling me. I was just taking a nap. How could you interrupt my nap? I'm sorry. But I had to ask you something important. What is this? What? You left this, right? On the table. The divorce papers. Oh, you just got home? Yes, I just got home. What took you so long? Didn't you say you'd be home at 3 p.m.? It's almost 4.30. There was huge traffic. Oh, really? If I had waited there, I would have had to wait for such a long time. Jesus Christ, what kind of nerve do you have? You came back slowly on purpose because you thought I was still waiting, didn't you? I knew you were planning to make me look like a fool. It's a good thing I didn't fall for your stupid plan. I wouldn't do that. I know what kind of person you are. You're too dumb to care. I'm sorry. But why did you leave this on the table? Leave what? The divorce papers. Ah, oh, I got them for you because I'm bored. 
I was so bored, so I went there to leave it on the table. You're going to need them anyway. So, I'm glad I saved you the trouble. You should be thanking me. What do you mean by that? I told you a hundred times already. You don't deserve to be a wife to my son? But that doesn't mean you have to do this. What? I went to the trouble of giving it to you. Are you talking back to me? Why don't you at least say thank you? I don't want to thank you for this. Wow, how disrespectful you are. Does Luke know about this? Of course, Luke feels the same way I do. He's a kind and loving son. He won't disobey me. By the way, Natalie. What is it? What's in that fridge? I almost had a stroke when I saw it. A refrigerator? Why do you need to check it? What's with that attitude? I'm checking to see how you're doing the chores. I must say, you have failed as a wife. You don't have enough stuff in there. Did you do that on purpose? Because you knew that I'm coming? Why would I do that? Besides, I didn't know you were coming here. You know, your refrigerator is always full of junk food and not much real food. I tried to avoid buying wasteful stuff. Wasteful stuff? How can it be wasteful when it's so empty? What kind of cheapskate are you? I'm trying to save money. Even if we bought a lot, we'd have too much left over. You're not being stingy with Luke's food, are you? If you're feeding Luke terrible food, I won't forgive you. No, I won't do that. I make meals with a good balance of nutrients. How could you talk like that when my son is providing for you? You knew I would be here today, didn't you? How could I know that you're coming? If you're going to come, you should have told me in advance. Why would I have to do that? I haven't visited you in three days. Normally, you would know that I'm coming today. I don't understand. You always come unexpectedly. I told you so many times that you at least tell me the day before, but you never listen to me. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your husband's mother. I mean, your house is like my house. What's wrong with going there any time? I didn't say there was anything wrong, but I hope you understand my side. What side? You are just a housewife. A wife should obey her husband's mother's order without saying a word. Oh my goodness, you're a really bad wife. But... But what? Whatever, make sure you fill up those divorce papers too. Luke should divorce you. A cocky and ungrateful wife. I have to talk to my husband first. You really can't shut your mouth, don't you? How can he say no to my request? He's always listened to me. He's an obedient son. Well then, do whatever I said. Hey, Natalie, answer me. Don't ignore me like this, you stupid wife. Mom, what's wrong? What were you doing? I'm sorry, I was just in the middle of something. You were busy? I was here the day before yesterday and the day before that. What do you mean you're not at home all the time? Are you working part-time again? I told you to quit, didn't I? Oh no, I just worked for a few days there. I'm not working today. Then where are you? And what's wrong with your front door? I think the locks are broken. I can open it. That's because the locks was changed. You changed the locks? Do you really think it's fine to do that? If you change the lock, don't you think you should come and give me a new key? I didn't do it on my own, and I don't have a new key either. Then who in the world changed the key? I think it was the landlord. Why would they do that? Do you think I'm stupid? No, not like that. But they said they'd change the locks after we moved out. I think it's normal that your key won't open the door anymore. Huh? Move out? What do you mean move out? We don't live there anymore. What? 
You didn't tell me that. Yes, I didn't. Why didn't you tell me? I'm your mother. Why did you move without telling me? It's insane. You never fully accepted me as a wife. You disrespected me because I'm a high school dropout. And even you forced me to get a divorce. Luke was very angry, you know? Luke? Why? Are you manipulating my son? That's why I don't like a wife who is a high school dropout. You are selfish and brainless. I have to make sure I tell Luke and clear up the misunderstanding. I told him exactly what you told me, but... No, he still misunderstood. Anyway, tell me where you moved to. I can't do that. Why not? Because Luke stopped me. What are you talking about? He would never do that. Luke's a sweet son. He really manipulating my son. You've been trying so hard to make me look bad with your poor high school dropout brain. Am I right? I have to see Luke and tell him the truth. Yes, Luke is a kind man. The way that you always disrespected me, he has always been concerned about it. I was trying to teach you to be a good wife for your own sake. I think you're an important family member to me, and I wanted you to be worthy of our family. I'm Luke's wife. You don't have to teach me anything. If you are Luke's precious wife, I have to teach you how to properly act as a wife. Luke has been patient all this time, but he has reached his limit. What do you mean? Actually, we were thinking about it for long before we get this new house. That we will live together. Me, Luke, Mom, and Dad. A new house? I didn't tell you, but we bought a new house. That's why we've been saving a lot of money for it. Oh, really? Well, if that's the case, you should have told me sooner. I would have helped you. If your attitude had changed, I would have asked you to come live with us. But Luke said he couldn't take it anymore. He doesn't even want to talk to you. That's a lie. There's no way he would say such a thing. I need to talk to him. It's just a misunderstanding. If you think so, why don't you contact him yourself? Yeah, that's true. I will do that. Something's wrong. I can contact him. See? You can reach him. He said he blocked you. That's... That's not true. There must be some mistake. I think there's some misunderstanding. I need to talk to him in person. Misunderstanding? What misunderstanding? I'll explain it to him in person. I'm 100% sure you are manipulating him. You are trying to make me look like a bad person. Anyway, tell me where's Luke right now. I can't do that. I'll get in trouble if I do. Oh, Luke told everything to that too. Told him what? That you're a useless wife? About how you treated me. He said that was furious too. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, also, we decided to live in a new house with dad. What? What about me? Are you all going to abandon me? Did you know that there's no dad stuff in the house now? You didn't notice that at all, did you? What? Really? You didn't, right? I heard that you never cleaned the house. Dad was so fed up with you. What? How could he say that to me now? We've been together for so many years. I'm coming over there too. You bought a new place so we could all live together, right? I have the right to live there too. I refuse. I put up with you for too long. Don't say that. Let's get along well in our new house from now on. I'm sorry. I'm a high school dropout. I'm not smart enough to care about you. If we live together, I think it would cause a lot of trouble for you. I don't think you should live with us. Wait a minute. I don't want to live alone. I'll help you save money too. I won't say anything bad anymore. I will live with you guys. Please don't abandon me. No, we don't have to do that. You can have a lavish life alone. 
I'll even clean the house. You can go part time all you want. Then what will you do in the house? So I'll do all the housework and stuff. Please tell me where this new house is. No, Luke will help me with the housework. I don't need you at all. How can I trust you to do the housework to someone like you? Please, I won't bother you anymore. So give me the address, please, Nathalie. No, I can't do that. I'm a failure as a wife. I can do whatever you ask me. You should be glad that from now on you live freely without being irritated by a useless wife like me. Um, oh no, it's my fault. I apologize. Just tell me where you live, please. After that, Dad sent divorce papers to Mom. And instead of us, they got divorced a few months after. She didn't have a job, so she couldn't pay the rent and was evicted from the house. She started working part-time as a cashier at a supermarket, but had to quit because she had a problem with a customer. So she decided to live with her eldest son's family who lives in the countryside. I heard that they own a big farm. Well, mom, who grows up in the urban city, is having a hard time adjusting. She can even help out in the farmhouse, and she's being treated like crop by her eldest son and wife every day. On the other hand, Luke, Dad, and I are living happily together. Actually, there will be a little new family member coming in nine months. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.